Hello guys, today I'm back with a, another video. But this time I'm going to help you guys out. I've seen on YouTube that there's um a, there's been a few like shaders videos. So on how to install the shaders mod. Um, there aren't, well there are quite a few for Max as well, but sometimes they don't really help as much. Um, so hopefully this one will help, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. Right, so first of all, let me, uh, yeah, first of all, you want to make sure that your minecraft.jar file, so if you don't know how to get to that, you go to your finder, here, and then it should bring you to this, you want to go to your name, so that's me, how we ho, yeah, funny, then we go to library, application support, and you find minecraft, there you go, minecraft, and yours should not have as much as me, I've just been do doing loads of modifications to my minecraft.jar and all that. But yeah, um, it's recommended that you reinstall your minecraft before you actually install shaders because shaders is a really big bit of an upgrade. So they, they recommend that you refresh your whole minecraft file. But I didn't do that because I'm hard. <coughs> so yeah, let's just get straight into it. I want to show you, also before I start this video, I will show you how to I'll show you that I've got it working. So you've got you've got to use Forge. This is for Minecraft 1.6.4. The Minecraft 1.7.21 is still in a beta stage, but you can still use it. But it's just less stable. So I'll show you my shaders test. I'll show you that I've actually got shaders running. As you can see, I've got shaders running. Um, what the fuck's happened to the sun? Hang on. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happened to this sun. Hey, data. Oh, okay. But yeah, I've got loads of different shaders there. Um, I'll leave like this shader pack in the description below if you want to download it yourself. So yeah, it works. It really works. But keep in mind, I've got a Mac. This is for Macs as well. Um, it won't run really smoothly if you have it on you know, you're far and all that. So I keep like, if you don't mind the render distance being tiny, then you should put it on tiny because it runs really smoothly. As you can see, I'm recording as well. I've run into 30, 25 fraps. It's really good though. And there's different shaders which you can use. Um, obviously the Zeus one doesn't work. Um, oh, what the fuck, it does work. <laughs> okay, the Zeus one works, but it's a bit, it's a bit hazily. But Rudo is probably the best. But anyway, yeah, this isn't about me showing off the shaders. It's about me how to install it. All right, so first of all, you're going to need this. I'll, I'll, I'll leave all the links in the description below if you want to use it. But if you not if you don't want to click on the links, which is a bit bizarre. But yeah, you want to type in 1.6.4 Minecraft shaders. And it's this. Updated by Kyra Onyx. I don't know. But this is what I was talking about before, the Minecraft 1.7.2. It is in beta so far. You can try it out yourself. It's the same process as what I'm going to do for 1.6.4, but you download this one instead. But I'm going to download 1.6.4. So you click on this. It's called the GS, GLS, GLSL shaders. There you go. Uh -huh. It takes you to this. You want to download the shaders mod core. Download link one or two. You just click it. So this lets you have the option to click on the shaders pack, as you saw before. So you wait for AdFly to do this thing, you skip Ad. And you download it. But I don't need to because I've already downloaded it. But you click on that and it should pop, pop up in your downloads or wherever you put your downloads. Okay, so that's sorted. Shit. Now you go to Forge. You need Minecraft 1.6.4, not 1.7.2. You want, actually, I don't think there's a 1.7.2 Forge, but yeah, if yeah, this you want the 1.6.4 one. So you just type in Minecraft 1.6.4 Forge, and you want the installer. You want to click Direct because it's much more quicker. It downloads straight to your folder. Drag it out to your desktop. As you can see here, this one Forge. Drag it out to your desktop, double click it. Oh, wait, sorry. Double click it 
or just right click press open and you yep okay whatever and as it's the installer you just want to press install client press ok well I've already done it so I don't need to so that's good so now you've got Forge running and when you've got Forge running make sure that you open it up once on Minecraft before you actually put the shaders mod into the mods file okay so now let's assume that you've got Forge running and everything's working you now go into your finders you go into your minecraft.jar sorry you go into your yeah, so your name library application support minecraft and like I said you don't have this many stuff shit so you've now got forge you should have something called mods installed mm -hmm. you just want to drag in the shaders mod core which you downloaded before drag it in and then you're pretty much set you can now open up minecraft Come on, and you should now be able to have an option called Forge. So you might have been on your own profile. So you just click on this, and then you click on Forge, and it should say you're ready to play Minecraft 1.6.4. You press play. Simple as. It's not that hard, is it? <laughs> if it's your first time loading up Forge, it will take a while, but for me, it's pretty quick. And if it work successfully you should have this it says five mods loaded so mods you should have this GS GLSL shaders mod fantastic this is annoying me go away and you should have forge beautiful okay now you, you can create a world and test it out but at this moment you won't have any shaders so at this moment you'll only have you'll have that like no shaders or nothing it looks really plain doesn't it actually god that looks very plain weird yeah so like i said you want to press escape options shaders and in your one you should have nothing i don't think but in the description below there will be like a download link where you can download all these shaders when you've downloaded them you just open it and you want to drag it in to your sorry about this you you want to just drag it all into your shader packs so when you've installed the GLSL shaders mod and ran forge and you open your minecraft.jar you will then have a new folder called shader packs this one and you can just install as many shaders as you want on this drag it in and you're ready to boom boom go I recommend this high one or the Rudo plays I recommend high one, yeah high is a good one it's a really nice texture pack, oh yeah, shaders pack it's really good uh, swaps, that's a bit awkward, there we go it's pretty nice um, do remember it's not this laggy it's just that I'm recording and I'm using normal so if you use short or tiny it should work as well so yeah um, that's how you install shaders if you have any you know questions or queries just leave a comment in the comment sections below I would gladly help I know this video hasn't been too I mean it's been a little bit helpful I think but yeah hopefully you, I, I got the message across. So yeah, guys, shut up, zombie. So yeah, as always, if you liked the episode, give it a like. A rating would be much appreciated. And make sure you leave a comment if you don't know what to do, because I'll gladly help you. This is for Max only as well. I mean, PCs can as well, but PCs can use the Zeus one. Yeah, so as always, guys, peace and love. Sign out, and I'll see you all next time. Boosh!